Hey everybody, Iran here. So I'm doing a uh, video testimonial um, or, or feedback video, I should say, um, regarding the 10x growth that I attended in Las Vegas, uh, February 2018. So this is the notepad that I got at the time when you arrive. You get this notepad with a bunch of other goodies, which I'll actually I'll bring those goodies to another video. Um, but yeah, today I want to talk about uh, one of the speakers. I'm doing a bit of a series here, speaker by speaker. And I want to talk about uh, Gary Cardone. Okay, so Gary Cardone is the twin brother of Grant Cardone. Um, if you've been following me, you probably would have heard of Grant Cardone because I talk about him um, in different at different times and so on. Gary is his twin brother, and he's not so known. He's the CEO of a company called uh, uh, Chargeback Nine One One, which is all about companies and how they uh, basically, um, you know, helping companies when they get chargebacks on merchant accounts and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, he, he found a, a problem in in uh, society, you know, in the business world and created a company to solve that problem, okay, which is very smart. That's what an entrepreneur, business owner would do, really. They find a, a, a problem and they will create a solution for it, okay. So, um, yeah, so very good. And and also, I will mention, he, he, have, he has some, he's doing well. He must be doing well. He's got sales reps and so on. I mean, I was in... Um, the charity um, dinner or a farewell party, and uh, I was talking to another, um, you know, attendee of the event, and uh, we were just talking about affiliate marketing and dropshipping and, and whatever, and talking about and, and I told him why I liked affiliate marketing and so on, and the guy kind of interrupted us and said, "Hey, here's my card. Uh, our company. I heard you talking about affiliate marketing. Um, our company does, um, you know, merchant accounts, blah blah." blah. Charge back nine one one. So he's got definitely, you know, he definitely got. This is a real company, you know, real salespeople and so on. So anyway, that was that was just a bit of feedback about the company and about him. So I'll tell you a little bit about um, three things. So he he was. Um, I think some people will say he was a bit. Uh, what's the word? Eccentric, like a bit out there, and he is a bit out out there in a good way. I think you know he definitely is looking outside the box and thinking in futures. Okay, which I really liked. The way he was thinking okay so he was talking about uh, globalized marketplace okay and how basically give it I think five years he was saying you know the whole world will be one big economy it really is and it's already heading in that way um, trade will be all global everything will be global okay um, and he said you want want to uh, work on three capitals okay your intellectual capital right all your knowledge your spiritual capital and your financial capital. He said, if you can work on those three things, you will survive this uh, globalized economy. And if you don't, you're gonna, you're not gonna survive it. Okay. Um, and he said the reason that is is because th the world is going in that direction of a globalized economy, and the giants, the brands, uh, they they're gonna take over. You know, and and it's true. I I'll tell you one thing I've noticed in Australia. Um, you know, and I'm sure it's like this in other places. There's a shopping center called Westfield, and that's taken over, really. Uh, you go to any any city in Australia, you start seeing these Westfields. And they're all very much the same, okay? And you see it start seeing it in, I start seeing it in airports as well. It's, uh, you know, you've got um, different shops, you know. You, see, you start seeing Victoria's Secrets in, in those places. You start seeing, you know, uh, kebab shops. You start seeing Chinese food. You start seeing food courts. You start seeing this. You start seeing that. It goes on and on to all these shops that you're starting to see. Nike, I saw Nike. Um, I see Puma starting to emerge, trying to catch up. Um, um, grocery stores, you know, in Australia we got Coles and Woolworths, and so on. So, and in every one of the shopping centers, there's all these things, and they, they're they're giants. Every one of those things are they're giants. Uh, they're commodities, okay. Um, and and it's kind of the same pattern over and over. Um, I'll give you a few others in Australia. We have Boost Juice. You start seeing Boost Juice pretty much in, in many places. Um, you know, it's a, it's a healthy juice thing, fruit juice, right? Um, and, and it's very true when you look at the world, you know, and you got Amazon, okay? Amazon in terms of retailer. We don't have Amazon in Australia, but Amazon in the US is huge, okay? Um, so he was talking about that, and for, for somebody who is working in today's world, you know, like, in terms of watching this video, looking at your position, maybe you're an entrepreneur, maybe you got a 9-to-5 job, okay? Either or, you, you really need to start thinking with that because the economy is changing, 
And that's really the point he was bringing up. And I, I think that's a very important point to really be aware that the economy is changing. Okay. So that was a great thing that he was talking about. Okay. Um, he said uh, one thing, which some people might not like, but he said it, and I will say it as well. Uh, if you're not worth a million dollars in three years, you're either lazy, or you get shit in your head, or you're on the wrong team. Say no more. I don't totally disagree with him, actually, but only time will tell. Um, he talked about, oh yeah, he said by 20, 2020, 2022, he reckons half the retailers in the US were bankrupt. That's another thing he was talking about, the global economy. Um, and then he was talking about Bitcoin a little bit. And he said, what do you guys think about Bitcoin? And some people were like, yeah, you know. And he said, Bitcoin is like a heron. It gives you that high, it's going to mess you up. Okay, <laughs> that's his take. Uh, no comment. But um, I, 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 look, I, my personal take on Bitcoin, um, while I am still ignorant of how it works, and I have a little bit invested in it, actually. Um, you know, which is kind of dumb saying it, but I do. I have a little bit invested in it. You know, I went with the, I went with the high. I took a bit of heroin, um, <laughs> a bit of Bitcoin heroin. Um, but um, to me, it's gambling. Okay, I was, I was gambling my money, and I was gambling what I was willing to gamble. So there you go. Um, and the last thing that I will comment about his speech, and that's not something he necessarily said, but uh, and this is not, this is not a. Um, how should I say? This is not me putting him down, okay? Gary is a very, very uh, powerful guy. You could tell I met him as well. We had a quick chat. Um, you know, very, very cool dude, okay? I mean, I, you know, very, very, a lot of similarities to Grand Cardone, obviously, right? But it was just interesting to see, and he commented on it. Him and Grant have exactly the same background, exactly the same mother, exactly the same brother, the same losses, the same pretty much everything and at the age of 16 I think they said their lives went in two different directions okay uh, or maybe it was 25 I don't remember what the age he said but it was very interesting to see that it's true you've got two people who are literally identical and they end up in two, two different locations two different paths and it's not a comparison between Gary and Grant Grant is obviously and I'm pretty certain, I, mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain he's a lot wealthier than Gary. I'm pretty sure Gary is definitely a millionaire, okay? Just judging by, um, I mean, I think in the charity event he put up, I don't know how much money, but he put in a lot of money. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain he's a millionaire in his own right. Very, very successful. But Grant's like, you know, close to a billion dollars, you know, getting up there on the, that level. And uh, it was very interesting to see, but it really, it's a choice factor. What path do you take, okay? And that's a question you, you should ask yourself. What path are you taking, okay? Because we all have our circumstances, negative circumstances, um, you know, bad situations, advantages, disadvantages. I have my disadvantages, I really do. But I also have advantages, okay, and which others don't have. Everybody's got their thing, okay? It's not a comparison between A and B. Everybody's got their thing, and it's all a matter of, Who's, who's going to take control of their life? And, and in their case, Grant really excelled. Okay, they both did really well, uh, but Grant took it to, a, to levels, you know, which are definitely quite unbelievable. So that was my final takeaway. That was probably the biggest thing, and I wanted to leave you with that. Um, I definitely recommend you get the live stream. If you want to get it, let me know. Um, I definitely would love to see you at the 10x growth call number three. I definitely plan on going there. Got to check travel arrangements and all that. Hope to go there as well. Um, it's meant to be the end of um, this year, 2018. So there you go. Feedback on Gary Cardone, Grant Cardone's brother. I hope that helps. And uh, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.